Guns have, of course, always been a hot topic when it comes to politics. And you could really get an insight into what it is the government's trying to do with your guns by focusing on the guns they don't want you to have. It gives you a lot of insight. Because I believe there are five guns that the federal government does not want the citizens to have. So I want to take a moment and just talk about what those five are because I highly recommend you get some of these guns. Now, when it comes to this list, it's a generality. So it's not like they don't want you to have this specific gun and this brand. It's more like this type of gun. Uh, so I'm going to do my best to kind of describe what that type of gun actually is. And uh, there's definitely five of them that, that they're under threat. And they, are, they have been for a while and, and they still are. And it seems to get worse. Uh, so here's the top five guns that the federal government does not want you to have. Number one is really any firearm that has a pistol grip, is semi-automatic, takes magazines, and has some sort of a stock. So that would be, um, and not even SLA stock, let's just stick with those, just pistol grip, um, magazine, semi-automatic, rifle style. And what you're looking at is you're looking at the ARs, you're looking at the AKs, you're looking at the AR pistols and the AK pistols. These are the big one. <laughs> These are the big one. These are the ones that everybody that's against guns have designated as assault weapons. Um, and again, you're looking at ARAKs and then the pistol versions of both those things. Um, and there's a lot of variables of other guns like that. But again, you're looking at a, a, a semi-automatic magazine fed pistol grip with some sort of a stock. I know the pistols don't have them, but they're not necessarily like a traditional handgun, they're, they're definitely still fitting that same concept. And that one is the big one. That's one that if, if they could get rid of those, they would celebrate a huge victory uh, when it comes to taking away your Second Amendment rights. All right, number two, 50 caliber rifles. Now, 50 caliber rifles are kind of a new target by the federal government, but uh, they are a target. They don't want citizens having 50 caliber weapons, whether it be a, just a single shot or a semi-automatic or a bolt rifle. They do not want the citizens having 50 caliber rifles. Obviously, if you have a 50 caliber rifle, you spend a ton of money on it. You spend a ton of money on ammo. You're probably a long distance shooter. Uh, they're just a hoot to shoot for sure. A lot of fun. Uh, especially if you do any long range shooting, man, it's one of the best. It's so much fun to shoot those things, but they don't want you to have them. So 50 calibers, those are coming and going pretty quick when it comes to people's desires. But again, in the end, they don't want you to have them. Number three, this one's a little tough to explain. So let me do my best. A full capacity handgun semi-automatic. So that would be like a Glock 17, uh, Glock 19, really just any sort of double stack, any handgun that's semi-automatic and takes more than 10 rounds. Let's put it that way. Uh, let's keep it simple. Any handgun that's semi-automatic takes more than 10 rounds, they do not want you to have. Uh, they don't like them. They don't want you to have them. And they're already kind of leaning towards... Like if you take a Glock 17 right now, there's already verbiage from the Supreme Court talking about that if you can modify a particular gun into an illegal gun in their mind, so kind of like taking a Glock and putting a Glock switch in it, for example, that those guns should be illegal if they're easily modifiable. And that's from the Supreme Court verbiage just last week when they were talking about ghost guns. So that's a whole other story. I actually did a video on that. Maybe I'll put the link below here. But what they're looking at is really any semi-automatic handgun that takes more than 10, the federal government does not want you to have. Number four, small shotguns. They don't want you to have small shotguns. Uh, what we're talking about is something like a, um, a Mossberg Shockwave, 
some of the smaller, you know, oh, and, and we're going to include the shotguns that take the semi, you know, that are semi-automatic magazine feds with a hand grip uh, or a pistol grip. Put those in category one and in category four. They don't want you to have those either. So really kind of any small 12 gauge shotgun, they don't want you having those. They, they're not okay with them. And they're getting a lot of attention, especially since that shockwave came out. It's raising a lot of ATF eyebrows and a lot of federal eyebrows and uh, it's definitely in their target zone. And finally, number five, this particular gun has been targeted by the federal government really since the 70s and that's tiny little concealed carry handguns. They used to call them Saturday Night Specials, but just really those micro compact guns, whether it be a tiny revolver, a tiny little 380, whatever, a tiny little 22, just the little pocket guns they don't want you to have. And, and a lot of it is kind of that, just the concealability. They don't want you to be able to successfully conceal a gun in the end. So really what it comes down to, let's look at this list again. Let's make it easy to just talk about what they do want us to have. They're okay with us having bolt, long bolt rifles. Uh, they're okay with us having double barrel shotguns and uh, like Western revolvers. Like they're okay with those and that's about it. Everything else they don't want us to have. And it fits into those five categories. Um, you know, really, again, semi-automatic, magazine-fed, pistol grip guns, 50 caliber guns, shotguns, uh, any semi-automatic handgun that takes more than 10, and concealed carry guns. These are the guns the federal government does not want you to have. And it's it's important you do have them. I mean, why do you think they don't want you to have them? Because they think that you're a threat to them. <laughs> now, by the way, all these politicians, they got people guarding them with all those guns I just mentioned, but you know, that's a whole other story. So there you go. There's what I believe to be the five guns the federal government does not want you to have. i uh, love to hear your insight on it. Definitely put it below. Do you want to take a moment so most people watch the channel? Hey, they're not subscribers. Click that subscribe button. It greatly increases the algorithm and our ability to get these messages out. That link is below. But the most important part of this channel, we take prayer requests. Please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns. <laughs>